As we move next here tonight to the kind of problems that seem relatively light and simple compared to what's going on in the world these days. But for the residents who live on Holmes Beach, the daily car fight over parking there impacts their daily lives. And ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane tonight with what local leaders are doing and what they're still not doing. Back in the spring of 2020, Holmes Beach, the biggest city on Anna Maria Island, closed street parking during the pandemic and never reopened most of the spots, permanently eliminating nearly 500 beach parking spots, something Manatee County is not happy about. We want 480 parking spots back. Since then, Manatee County leaders have been fighting with the beach city to reopen the spots so that Manatee County taxpayers who can't afford to live on the island can still enjoy going to the beach. There are 400,000 people in Manatee County and there are 3,000 and change in the city of Holmes Beach. That's less than 1%. We are literally here to debate whether or not the beaches should be restricted uh, to 99% and left open to the 1%. But the city says they don't want beach traffic clogging their residential streets. Our roads are blocked. We have congestion everywhere. Everyone's circling everywhere trying to find a place to park. Today, city and county leaders came together for the first time during a public workshop to try and find solutions. The county armed with letters from the Bradenton mayor and Manatee State Representatives requesting that Holmes Beach leaders reopen the parking spots. But city leaders say their small city cannot handle the amount of traffic coming onto the island. You all gotta start looking really big. I'd hire Disney. As for now, Holmes Beach refuses to reopen the streets for public parking. We don't have the funding that you all have, and it's not up to us to provide parking for your beaches. Leaders discussed other solutions such as parking at the library and talks of building a parking garage, but no decisions were reached. They've agreed to meet again at a later date to continue the conversation. In Manatee County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.